Hello, how are you today? Are you feeling good today? I hope so. Welcome back to Storytime with Adele. And today we're all about the hugs. When was the last time you gave somebody a great big squeeze? Well, today the story is called Time for a Hug and it's by Gabrielle Antonini. So, isn't it about time you gave someone a hug? Think about it. All the grown-ups around you love you so much they need a big squeeze. So make sure you give somebody a hug today. I need a hug today. Give me a hug today. <laughs> Didn't get it. Thank you. Let's see what happens in today's story. And my goodness, they really are having a group hug today, boys and girls. That's what we all need, isn't it? A group hug. This book is about Snuggly Monster. Let's see. Snuggly Monster was a very cuddly monster. He had soft fur and strong arms, perfect for giving warm, lovable, fun, squeezy, huggable hugs. Snuggly loved to hug everyone he met. He hugged small monsters. He hugged tall ones. He hugged sad monsters. He hugged happy ones. Hugging is the best fun in the world, thought Snuggly. I agree. Then, one day, Snuggly was on his way to see his best friend Giggly. At the bus stop, he met Stripey Monster. Can you see? Ha, look at his feet. Stripey's fur was dull and pale. She was very cold from waiting for the bus. Snuggly gave Stripey a warm hug and soon her fur was bright and fluffy again. Thanks Snuggly, she cried. Mm -mm, I could do with one of those hugs. At last, the bus arrived. Snuggly got on. He saw a noisy monster looking sad. I've lost my voice, said Noisy in a tiny whisper. Snuggly gave Noisy a big hug to cheer him up. Noisy was so pleased he forgot that he was sad. Thank you, Snuggly, he whispered. Good old Snuggly. At the next stop, Snuggly heard a strange noise. He saw a little bouncy monster on the road. He bounced into a lamppost and bumped his knee. Snuggly jumped off the bus, scooped Bouncy up and gave him a hug. Bouncy stopped crying right away. Snuggly's hug made his knee stop hurting just like magic. At last, Snuggly arrived at Giggly's house. He couldn't wait to give his friend a hug. He pressed the doorbell. Ding dong! Ding dong! Snuggly waited and waited, but no one answered the door. Suddenly, Snuggly heard giggling sounds coming from the back garden. He peeped over the fence and saw his best friend Giggly playing with someone new. <gasps> oh dear, Snuggly doesn't look happy, boys and girls. Giggly and the someone new swung on the swing. Then they slid down the slide. Suddenly, Snuggly felt sad. Giggly has forgotten all about me, he said with a sniffle. <gasps> then Snuggly saw the someone new 
give Giggly Monster a great big hug. Snuggly's happiness vanished and big watery tears dribbled down his face and onto his fur. Giggly Monster's got a new best friend, he wailed. Snuggly sobbed and sobbed. More tears came. Drip, drop, flip, plop. Snuggly Monster made such a noise that Stripey and Bouncy and Noisy came running. Oh, what's the matter? they asked. Poor Snuggly. Just then, Giggly and the someone new came out of the garden. They wanted to know why Snuggly Monster was crying too. Snuggly Monster pointed at the someone new and said, Giggly's got a new best friend. Then Snuggly Monster started crying all over again. Big, fat tears splashed into puddles on the ground. Giggly explained that the someone new was his cousin, Funny Monster. You're my only best friend, Snuggly, he said. Oh, I hope that cheers him up. <gasps> Snuggly Monster had made a mistake and he felt very silly indeed. I'm sorry, Funny, he said. I'm sorry, Giggly and Stripey and Noisy and Bouncy. <laughs> Never mind, said Giggly. Everyone makes mistakes. What you need now, Snuggly, is a great big hug. And the monsters gathered round and gave Snuggly Monster the biggest, huggiest hug he'd ever had. Oh, that looks a big squeeze. <gasps> that was lovely, said Snuggly Monster. All his tears dried up and suddenly he felt happy again. Come on, everyone, said Giggly. Let's all play in the garden. The monsters had fun all afternoon playing lots of games and Snuggly was back to his old self. He gave everyone lots of hugs and he felt happier than ever. That night, Snuggly Monster cuddled up in bed with his teddy. He remembered the lovely hug from all his monster friends. I love giving hugs, but I love getting them too, thought Snuggly. Then he settled down to a lovely, huggy, snuggly sleep. Ah, oh, boys and girls, what a lovely, squeezy, huggy story that was. Don't forget, if you love someone, give them a big hug, just like Snuggly. See you again soon, boys and girls. Don't forget to subscribe.